Rather is giving this second stage from dynamic leadership, understanding your communication style, pathways to level two. In speaking today, the title is Can We Talk? Rather is asking about five to seven minutes for his speech. Please help me to invite Rather on the podium. We talk. As you know, that is the title of my speech. My fellow Toastmasters, it is awesome to be up here with you again. As I am going on my dynamic leadership level two, Toastmaster asked me to find out what is my communication style. As I said before about my leadership style, I never really thought about that. So Toastmasters asked me to, and I'm glad they did. Communication is it's an important thing for any relationship you would have, whether it be business, your family, your friends, occupational. Just walk down the street, say hi to somebody. Communication brings joy, brings people together. We get things done with communication. Sometimes when we communicate and we are misunderstood, then there's a problem, isn't there? I've been through many of those situations in my life is being misunderstood. <coughs> now, as I was going through, there's four different communication styles. Now, let's communicate about communication. First one is supportive. Second one is initiating. Number three is direct. And number four is analytical. As I went through find out what style I am, I came up with, they have a ranking on it. They rank me five on support. Here's what, somewhat of what they were saying. This style is calm, steady, approachable, sincere, and gentle. I'm like, well, that's nice. I thought it was nice of them to say that about me. <laughs> but it also says, don't like change may seem indecisive. Some people may think I am indecisive. I'm thinking this is kind of true about me. I also care about people. And that's why I am with the supportive style. I care about relationships and that leads into initiating, which is ranked four. That's not far from five, is it? I'm like, this is pretty good too. But this style is sociable. Oh, I don't like to talk. No, not at all. You guys heard my 10 minute speech. It was supposed to be seven, five to seven. I don't like to talk. I was like, no, that's not me at all. Enthusiastic. You guys see me come out here and karate chop things and kick and scare you? No, that's not me. Energetic? No, no. Spontaneous, just like this speech. But you've seen me do this before. I look at the agenda and go, we have one speaker, spontaneous, okay, so I jumped on it. I said, all right, I'm doing this, is this me? I was like, I guess it is, and fun loving. I was like, man, this is so nice to me. <laughs> but to, on this nature of this style, one may be perceived as someone who talks more than listens. Like, no, that's not me, is it? I do listen to people. A lot of times I hear me talking. I'm like, now they also asked us to not just make a report on what we're doing on this speech, but here it is. How do we use this? What is the benefits of my style? What are the things that could hurt the way I communicate? One is talk too much. Sometimes I have to listen. Pull back. I had to assess who am I leading. As many of you know me, I am a manager of a restaurant. I'm also a deacon at my church, and I also run my own business teaching the martial arts. So where do I get a chance to communicate to others? A lot, right? Now, how many different styles 
the communication do I come across? All four. So now, here's where it comes down to it. I may be a supportive communicator, but then I come against the analytical communicator. They want the facts. They want it down here, here, here. Let's not talk too much about this. But just give me the facts. Lay it out. They want to know every aspect of that. Me, I just like, I give the people a lot of times as need to know basis a lot of times. That doesn't work so well with the analytical. But here's with the supportive style though, people know that I care. I've said it before and there's that old saying that people don't care what you know until they know how much you care. And that's what I strive for, and that's why this came up to supportive and initiating. Now, do I find it important for us to go through this? Yes. Yes. It may seem like it's redundant to keep going over these speeches, but no, this is actually important for each and every one of us to go through. I'm glad I went through this. I just went through this, I'm like, okay, this is great. Now I understand what kind of communicator I am. I never thought about it. But then uh, sometimes I had to go to a direct communicator. Especially at the restaurant. We're busy. I had to give a message. There's no time for me to be all caring and all that. No, this is your mission. This is it. Quick, easy, clear. And that's a kind of how we have to bounce back and forth sometimes. But I do draw near where this told me. I thought that was awesome. Thank you, Professor Manson.